Thanks for watching this interview with Dustin Rudolph, the plant-based pharmacist. You can check out his website and his Facebook page and his book uh, in the description below. I'll leave links. In five years of being on this lifestyle, um, not a lot surprises me, but reading this book, it was a wealth of knowledge and I read a lot of stuff that I didn't know before, so I highly recommend this book. This is just one snippet that Dustin and I spoke about. If you'd like to watch the entire interview or another topic that we spoke about, you can click on the link to the full interview in the description below. Thank you very much. I had heard for the first time after reading your book that you can actually um, prevent, treat, or reduce the chances of getting certain autoimmune disorders through diet. Can you explain a couple of the, the major ones that you read about and how they're influenced by diet? Yeah, when I first found out about this, I was just like flabbergasted. I just was like, I, I can't believe that these autoimmune diseases have anything to do with diet. Because mm -hmm. in school, we're taught that the only thing that you can really do to help those people is put them on steroids and um, other really nasty medications that are, you know, biologic agents or um, or basically medications that suppress your immune system. Mm -hmm. So when I found out that the diseases themselves, a lot of these um, autoimmune diseases are due to basically the animal protein that uh, in people who are genetically susceptible to, say, rheumatoid arthritis or Crohn's disease or lupus mm -hmm. or psoriasis or these autoimmune disorders like this, their body recognizes animal protein as a foreign substance and so it makes antibodies towards it and then it wants to attack that and a lot sometimes say you got a patient who has RA rheumatoid arthritis well they recognize the animal protein as foreign so they make antibodies against it mm -hmm. the tissues and cells in their joints are very similar to maybe the look of that animal protein. Mm -hmm. So now their body attacks the joints. Mm -hmm. You know, For somebody with lupus, it, they can attack any cell or tissue in the body. Mm. Uh, you know, Somebody with Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, um, it's going to attack the gut, the intestines. Mm -hmm. So when you get rid of the animal protein, that does wonders for many of the people with these autoimmune diseases. Mm -hmm. Now, some of them will also have to go another step further and they might have a gluten sensitivity mm -hmm. or gluten disorder like celiac disease or one of the other ones. So after they remove all the animal protein, if they're still having problems, some people still benefit from, from doing removing gluten too. Mm. Um, I don't usually recommend that. I usually, right away, I usually recommend get rid of the animal protein first and the processed foods. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Those processed foods, like again, we talked about, are very inflammatory. Mm -hmm. So even though you've gotten rid of the main cause, which is the animal protein, if you're still eating processed foods, processed vegetarian and vegan foods, mm -hmm. you're still causing inflammation to the body. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of these autoimmune diseases are. They're inflammatory processes with certain parts of the um, body. Sure. So it's again, it sounds you know like the chronic diseases. We're not saying uh, if you switch your diet to a whole foods plant based diet, it's not a guarantee that you're going to 100% treat all these chronic diseases. In the same way, you're not going to treat all these every single autoimmune disorder, but it can't help. Or I'm sorry, it can't hurt. It can't hurt to change right. your diet. Exactly. Right. It can't hurt. Right. And it depends on what you have. You know, I've I've helped patients with autoimmune diseases. One lady, I was able to help her uh, put her lupus into remission, like permanently. Yeah. But she's also a case where you know her dad died of lupus. Mm -hmm. Now, if she has one meal that she cheats on. Mm -hmm. She starts getting the pains back mm. in her joints and stuff, yeah. and and so some people are so sensitive that they just have one meal mm -hmm. with an autoimmune disease, and they start having problems again. That's powerful. That's very powerful. Uh, so.